Wow! 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 Hello everyone! What is going on? Welcome back! Welcome! Welcome, welcome! Gulp, 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 gulp! So, before I get started, I just want to say I got a whole new setup, a whole new camera. So, if it's not the best, I'm still working out the kinks. So don't eat my ass. <coughs> For today's video, I actually saw this video and it really got me thinking, how can I do that and make it cool? Make it crazy, make it fun. And I thought, why not make some acrylic nails out of ramen noodles? So that's what we're doing today. This whole adventure is gonna be kind of a first time thing. I've done some trial and errors or on certain on certain aspects, but overall I haven't done the whole thing all together. Let's just get started. So I have some acrylics, hot glue, resin, and ramen. And so basically what we're gonna have to do is, we're gonna have to make molds out of hot glue because I don't have any silicone molds of my own and that's how you pour the resin. The resin is super tricky. I I should have heated this up before. So basically what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking, I'm gonna be taking the acrylic nails and I'm going to be making molds out of them. And you'll see up close with my other camera how we're gonna be doing that because I really wanna make ramen. Did I even say what we were doing? I'm making ramen acrylic nails. Oh my God, I didn't even say what I was doing. Did I? You did, but you forgot, this is scary. I also got a new tripod for this damn camera. Bro, how the? I got beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb. While we're waiting for the glue to heat up, let's just go ahead and talk about the elephant in the room. My eyebrows. I tried to dye them purple to a dark purple. The box said dark purple but then they started to fade i'm going to be taking these acrylic nails and i'm going to be lining them up to make the molds and i have to make 10 molds because it takes so long for the resin to dry i don't know if you don't understand what i'm doing you'll just have to wait and see i looked up extensively how to make molds and how to do it the right way and i've done so many trial and errors i think i know what i'm doing at this point but then again, I don't know. We're not actually using these nails. I'm only using these nails as a guide for the mold. And then what we're gonna do is once the mold's dry, we are going to pour the resin in with the smashed up ramen. So for example, I think resin is used, have you ever been to a Panera Bread? and you've seen, or no, a Starbucks, and you've seen the display, the, the food display, and it's like super shiny. Well, I think they poured resin over that to make it hard. All right, friends, we're just gonna take this. So I'm gonna wrap the hot glue around it first to create a base. I forgot, oh my God, I forgot. You're supposed to use Vaseline, but I only have Aquaphor, and you're supposed to coat it so it can pop out of the, the mold. The issues that I've had in the past is I haven't made the molds deep enough. Just create a mold basically over. I have a feeling that this is going to take me a while to edit. If it's not up late, shout out to me. Yo, shout out. Shout out. You have to have a very defined mold. Like it can't be super shallow. It has to be a super deep mold. So that's the only issue I'm having. Let's just keep molding, I guess. Okay, so what I'm noticing is the nails are somewhat burning underneath the hot glue, which I assume is something that I should have prepared for, but I didn't. I hear my mom stomping upstairs. I just heard the toilet seat plop, meaning she's gonna go defecate. Is that the right word? I don't even know. Decimate, fill a flay. So you see this one is starting to harden. It's still really hot though. As you guys know, I have issues with my mics and I really hope that there is no issues with this one because if there is, I'm motherfucking suing. And now we wait for them to dry. In the meantime, let's go ahead and chop up our ramen. So I got some beautiful top ramen right here. Definitely saw that coming. Can't forget the chicken. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and mush it. We're starting to get there. I feel like they need to be pretty small because the molds are very small. Thank you. 
I feel like a caveman, I won't even lie. <laughs> My upper lip is full of moisture, I already know. So I think the molds are ready. Let's go ahead. To peel them off, I got my floss pick. <laughs> Great. You just gotta pop. Oh, I should have greased this. You just pop the nail out. Having a hard time. Okay. <laughs> okay, as you can see, it's like a little nail mold. And then I'm gonna fill that up with um, Resin. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop all of these out. So if you ever need molds and you don't want to have to go buy silicone molds or make them out of silicone and you have hot glue, just use hot glue. Bitch, bye. Oh, don't you dare. These are really not that bad. They're just really small and that means I'm going to have to make the ramen even smaller. So I went ahead and started to break up the ramen even smaller and boy was I sweating. It was hot in that bitch. <sighs> now that the molds are done, we have to make the resin. I'm going to put this inside. You have to pour equal parts of these two into a bowl, mix it up really well, and then we're going to put the ramen in. And I'm wearing gloves because everyone in the YouTube videos I saw wore gloves. So I'm assuming you need gloves. You just basically have to be careful with this because it like stains and stuff. So we're gonna do equal parts of this. Pour that in. And the one thing about the resin is you have to use it right away as soon as you like pour it. We're working against the clock. Oh my god. And then pour this in. And then to stir it, I have an old toothbrush. Before we stir it, we gotta add the ramen in. I'm just going to pour that in like so. I really don't know how this is gonna work. You're supposed to mix it for like a solid three minutes. Like low key, do those look like SpaghettiOs? They look kind of scrumptious, won't lie. Am I hungry? Maybe I was supposed to put the ramen in after I stirred it. How many y'all? I think it might be time to pour these molds. Oh God, I'm nervous. I'm basically gonna scoop it. I'm gonna scoop the resin out and put it into the mold. So basically I'm just gonna do it like that. That mold is overflowing. So I gotta take it all off. Okay, mold one, down. This is gonna be a disaster. Mold two. Oh frick. Oh God damn it. But the good news is even if they overflow the molds, I can always file them down. These molds are busting. Okay, that one could be okay. Mm, not really. So I filled all the molds and unfortunately it takes 24 to 48 hours for all this to cure. I'm gonna let this go and in a few days I will be back. Don't know what life is gonna be like then. We could all be dead. I will see y'all on the flip flop. Hello everybody. It's been quite some time and let me tell you. <laughs> So I transfer them onto a plate and this is what they look like. They look like miniature deviled eggs. As you can see, some of them have kind of gone over the edge and I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get these out of the mold. I was able to get this little guy out of the mold and they're all so sticky. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it. This one might be coming out. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, so this one came out. Ugh. I know I can do this. What if, because there's not a lot of lot to work with um, on these things, like trying to get them out. What if I put more, oh, what if I put more hot glue around them to make it, you know what I mean? Like more of a grip. Oh, okay. Got this one out. Like I said, I'm gonna have to shave them down and that's okay. As long as I get them out of the mold, it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be just my leg. <laughs> my thumb. So like I said earlier, I really wanted to add more hot glue around the edges of the mold so I could grip them better and peel them out. But in the meantime, I wanted to try to see how I could file down the nails. So I don't want to like say it too soon, but this is like forming into little nails. Some of them are still like a little sticky, but after many broken thumbs later, I got all of the nails acrylic nails out of the molds all I have to do is sand them down and then stick them on 
done. So for the next 30 or so minutes, I just spent grinding away and trying to file down the nails as best as possible. They were really rounded at the bottom where it's supposed to stick onto my fingernail. So I tried my absolute hardest to get them all down. Honestly, got a little bit too impatient just sanding for 30 minutes straight. Yeah, oh my God, it is like so late right now. It's like 1.30 in the morning and I really didn't think I was gonna be editing this late, but damn, I feel like I'm on drugs. I'm so tired. After about 30 minutes of sawing these bitches down, I am thrilled to announce and to reveal my brand new ramen acrylic nails. Hey, look, ma, I made it. I seriously cannot believe that they came out like this. Obviously, some of them are a little messed up, but overall, like, I did such a good job. And now, the moment of truth, we're gonna put them on, and we're gonna see how they look. They better stick, that's all I gotta say. So, let's start with the pinkies. Here is my little pinky nail. Oh my gosh. Nail one is on! They look truly so busted, but that's okay. The issue with these, where I could not get them shaved down at the bottom, they're kind of rounded, but, I mean, like, I didn't know what else to do. Oh yes, sweetie. You better Work, you better. You better work, bitch. You better work, bitch. You better work. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you so much. I think the best nail is this nail right here. It is so beautiful. Hand one. <laughs> Hand one is done. Wow. These actually don't look bad. I will be honest. They are uneven and crooked, but they don't look bad overall. I cannot believe I'm doing this and this is my life. Oh well. As I was putting on these nails, I was realizing life is crazy. Uh. All right, everyone. I am so happy to announce that my ramen nails are done. Do you look close up? <laughs> Rawr. So these are the nails close up. They, um, you know, are ramen. <laughs> I can't believe I did this. Rar, put your paws up. Put your paws up, everybody. Ramen nails are in town. Um, Rar, right? Like, um. Time. I overall want to say thank you so much for watching. Um, not gonna lie, these bitches is bad. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and please love life. All right, peace. Bitches be like, I just got my nails done. Bitches who get their nails done be like, fresh. Um. Fresh do, fresh pair of nails, fresh to death slay bitch Motherfucking slay, get your money, get your money and your mans and your life I'm a bitch who gets my nails done, you can't tell me Bum bum, bum bum, bum 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 bum